are back at it again with another motherfucking video and today it's already December so already the month of fucking cold chilliness I do fuck with like that cold windy weather so because of that reason I'm going to be making some traditional Latino warm comforting drink so the one that i'm gonna be making today is arroz con leche my whole family loves this so especially my son so i feel like i have to do that for this chilly weather that we be having today it rained earlier so now it's just getting more colder as the night goes on so i'm definitely gonna get started on that right now it's a very very quick recipe that anybody could make so if you don't know how to make it and you want to learn how to do it then definitely stay tuned this is gonna be like a mini recipe slash christmas decorating vlog i am gonna be putting my decorations up today um i haven't done that i've only put like two up and we still haven't put the tree it's already like almost mid december so shit i'm fucking late as fuck yeah, i'm gonna be putting the decorations today the christmas tree and everything um my son's gonna be featured on it too just because he obviously got involved with kids and you know putting the decorations up you know they have a fun time it's like a whole christmas vibe you know so yeah, let's get started on the arroz con leche and let's go. Okay, so you want to put your water in first. You want to fill it halfway through the pot and you want to dip in one cinnamon stick on your water wait for your water to boil and then we're gonna be adding the rice and the next steps that are next okay so I just lowered the heat down you see that the water changes in color because of the cinnamon so you know that it's ready it's already boiling it's already ready for the next step right now I measured a cup of rice into one of these there's rice that you wash and then there's rice that you don't wash so you want to see that on the package mine is the one that you don't wash so fuck i should have let the water continue to boil but yeah as you can see since the rice is white you can see even more how the water has changed in color into like this rosy light brown color so you just want to give it a stir now you just want to wait for the rice to get really soft and then we're going to be adding our milk in you don't want to leave your rice like if you're gonna go do something else you might not want to do that because if you do leave your rice for a long time without watching it without taking care of it and giving it a good stir once in a while your rice will get stuck to the pot and it'll get nasty so you don't want that so make sure you are constantly checking up on your rice giving it a good stir i'll be back when the rice is soft and we're gonna be ready to add some milk in meanwhile all right so yes i had to pop on this santa hat real motherfucking quick because after making the arroz con leche we're actually gonna go into the living room and start decorating everything and hanging up the christmas decorations and i'm gonna be blasting christmas music like bitch i'm whenever you decorate your house don't you feel like that christmas vibe like 100 percent all the way like you bump your christmas music you put your santa hats like right now everybody has a hat so i'm so ready to fucking hang shit up and like let my house feel christmasy as fuck so even though i'm gonna be showing you guys that i've 
decorated the living room area I am still probably gonna be getting more Christmas decor because I don't know I just get like this every year <laughs> like I'm like it's not enough look at all that shit do you really need all that shit I want to say last year and so when it was Black Friday, I went, I bought myself a Christmas tree. I think it came out like flat 20 bucks, so that was probably less because of my discount. But it was the Black Friday price, it was 20 bucks. And it was like a good, good sized tree and it was like really full. You know how sometimes now they be selling Christmas trees that are like fucking pelones? That are bald as fuck? Like what the hell is this shit like seriously like they be selling ball trees now like that's very upsetting like what the fuck but no this tree was like like a good medium fluffy tree so i was like yes um and i also got some ornaments as well but i didn't get a second package and i didn't even have time to think i got my box of ornaments right i think it was on sale for like 10 bucks for like 20 something ornaments and i was like okay this is good i was like is this enough like hmm maybe if it's not enough i'll buy some tomorrow but i'm like why am i gonna buy some tomorrow it's not gonna be the same price and then when i went back to get another box it was already gone like, all of them were gone as fuck so i didn't even get a chance to i went like the next day and i think days after um and there it was just the aisle was always empty so i was like oh fuck but whatever so at least i got a box at least i got my tree and then i also before kmart closed you know kmart close it was like my store and i can't believe it got bankrupt but anyways i went to kmart because i wanted to put the base of the tree that stands still i wanted to take that shit off and i caught something that made the tree rotate around and i fell in love with them like i had I have to have this and then my mom was thinking like i'm crazy like who who does it that's not like original and i'm like exactly like i don't want to be original i want to be different i thought it was cute because then that way like all your ornaments that you put on your tree and everything everything is gonna be visible you know how you try to make one side of the tree more fuller because no one's gonna see the back like no with this rotating shit that i bought for the tree you can now see like every ornament that you put in everything and so i thought that was cute and necessary what am i gonna do with the big stocking you know like so i got them a little stocking you guys will see when i get it out and i start hanging stuff around the house so i was like yeah you know what this should do good and yeah i just got like a bunch of shit last year and i still want to get a couple of things this year do you really need all that shit because i haven't even gone or started christmas shopping at all have you guys started christmas shopping let me know in the comment section down below if you're like a last minute christmas shopper or a very early before december christmas shopper or you know you just do your christmas shopping in the beginning of december let me know what kind of shopper are you i really want to know i'm usually like before december or like in the first week of december shopper but i don't really like to go last minute because you cannot find parking in the malls it gets so fucking packed and so fucking full in every single store and it's just like <laughs> I cannot deal with that shit so yeah okay so something that i do want to mention is that if you hear your rice boiling very quickly it obviously means that it's running out of water and you have to check if your rice is soft or not if your rice is not yet soft you do want to add a little bit more water to it this is the time that i was talking about that you must be 
with your rice and constantly stir it around because if not if you leave the rice at this point this is where it's gonna start getting stuck to the pot and you do not want that so you gotta give it a couple stirs by the way guys i did heat up my stove medium heat to make the rice and now i am going to be lowering it so my rice doesn't burn at this point now that i checked my rice and it is completely soft at this point i want to add my milk and continue pouring as much as you want this is gonna be your preference of milk if you like your arroz con leche with a lot of milk or you want to feel more the rice than the milk it's completely up to you and now uh, I'm trying to see if I want more milk hmm. maybe a little more milk I like my milky like liquidy keep stirring to see if I like the consistency and the texture of it okay so now it's time for the sugar and yes I'm gonna be adding it like this just shaking it and just taste if I'm liking how much sugar I'm putting into it once again the sugar your preference your choice of how much you want to put on your arroz con leche because some people have a sweet tooth and they love their arroz con leche really sweet and some like it with the sugar with my measuring cup since i'm not using it anymore i'm gonna be tasting if i like the amount of sugar or if it needs more so yeah adding a little more sugar to it you know when it's the cheap sugar and you gotta add more sugar because it doesn't it's not strong enough like the Splenda sugar that's what's going on here so I'm using that one the well-known latino sugar that everybody gets you know that one pink and white square rectangular bag you know the ch something like that that's the sugar i'm using by the way so if you guys wanted to get more sugary with less sugar if that makes sense then get your splenda up to you up to your budget up to you this is the this is what we're doing no i do not have a sweet tooth it's just CH, you know, CH sugar. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. What the fuck was that? Oh, I burned myself. By the way, guys, this is the final look on my arroz con leche. You know, I try to make it look cute by adding that little um, cinnamon stick piece of cinnamon stick in there but so yeah i'm about to go enjoy my arroz con leche on this chilly night and i'm also gonna pour some for my son because he loves this so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um also some people add vanilla so before you guys even you know try to come at me i don't like it with vanilla that's just me that's up to you i feel like it just changes the flavor on the whole thing and i don't fuck with it so i don't be adding that so i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial i hope if you guys want some more videos like this to start off with a very warm comforting latino wintery food or drink mostly drinks because i think i'm gonna be doing a lot of those either way video or not um so if you guys want me to do more of these little quick recipes please let me know in the comment section down below remember to motherfucking subscribe bitch all right for the holidays 
So yeah, let's get into the Christmas home decor and yeah. So before I get to decorating, I have to take off these pictures off the wall, which I have all over the place because this was what I used for his birthday. Um, for his birthday party, so I have to take them off. Since it was on Thanksgiving, I obviously involved a lot of Thanksgiving pictures. So I have to take these off. Cute, cute, cute. Pumpkins are for Halloween, Thanksgiving. Whoa! <laughs> Save the. Had a big seven right here too. Took it off. And this is what I had drawn. That took me like four days to draw this and paint this and everything. Cool. I got that up right there. Baby daddy's picture fell off because my son was playing with a ball and it fell. So it's already night time and I decided to make the cinnamon rolls that come in like a package of like that one little muñequito the baker dude that is on there. So it's basically finished. But I just decided like you know making the arroz con leche, making these cinnamon rolls, um, something warm and toasty for the holidays i don't really like putting it on the table but you know you gotta do what you gotta do because your kids are wild so yeah say that I was gonna build and decorate the tree yet I didn't do that because it was already night time I was tired I was sleepy so I was just gone that night so today I'm just gonna be continuing um for sure building and decorating the tree so let's just get on with it and let's go Rolling. Remember, modeling. Look like a hoe. Why did you move it? Huh? Why did you move it? I'm playing with you.
Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.